Hey guys, Ron here. Oh, let's try to get rid of that. Let's try to get rid of that. Yeah, there we go. So tonight I'm showing you these fantastic views. Normally I get out of the car, but tonight I'm not. Look at these tremendous views. This is, uh, I don't think I'm going to say the name of this street because I don't want anybody coming up here and bothering this resident. <laughs> I'm trying to keep his um, privacy, but I'm going to show you, look at that view. I'm going to show you now the home of Marcus Persson. I'm probably mispronouncing it. Swedish billionaire. I'm not into video games. Haven't been since the 80s, but he invented Minecraft. He's, I believe, 42 years old, and I guess he got into the right industry because uh, video games made him a billionaire. Let's look at his house. I'll just tell you that this is <clears throat> Beverly Hills. I see this house at the end here, this gate, and they're finally building the structure. This has been going up for a long, long, long time. Just a vacant lot. It, well, a year ago it was a vacant lot. It's still not built. Anyway, there's Marcus Persons' home. You can only see the outside. Security does come through here. Um, so I'm not going to show you much other than film here from the outside. And maybe we can see his fence. Actually, I think, look at that. I think it was here. There's definitely a home up here where... Security actually came out one time. Maybe it is this one. Maybe there's security sitting in this car. I don't know. No, not sitting in there. But I used to see security sitting out at William Shatner's house. In front of William Shatner's house. A long time ago, in the 90s. Now we'll drive down this street. And we'll get a little bit more into the view. and The groove, I'll show you some more of sunset look at that view look at that view down the hill the only problem with this particular street is a lot of people come here and then they just go to the end and turn around so you know we're talking about 30 40 million dollar homes here Producers live here. Um, but the other people are not famous. I have checked out some of the other some of the other residents or checked out as much as I could. A lot of these are film are hidden behind being owned by, you know, LLCs and corporations. So we don't know who really lives there, if it's an individual. Celebrities will almost always hide behind an LLC or a corporation. will say Beverly Hills LLC or Beverly Group or whatever it may say. Some really nice homes, though. Really nice homes here. We've got city views here, too. But look at that. They know so many people come here. They have to put a watcher speed type sign up. That beauty. You know, I like these night shots. I'm coming from Hollywood. I was just on the Sunset Strip. Was I tempted to film it for you? Yes. Did I know? Because I've done it for you about three times. Up, oh, backing up. Let's let him back up and give us more time to hang out. It's our Mercedes Jeep. No uh, Mercedes made Jeeps. Looks like a Mercedes, am I wrong? It's hard to tell at night. See a little bit of the view there view into the west side of L.A., west, west L.A. I'm 
I'm sorry that uh, I apologize in advance that I didn't linger in front of Marcus's home that long, but like I said, I'm pretty sure they've got security there that would come out just like they did when I, because security's got you on camera, just like they came out when I was in front of the home of, uh, former home of, uh, oh, Sierra Towers there. That's been there a long time. That's the corner of Sunset Doheny. When I was in front of <coughs> Aaron Spellings, the late Aaron Spellings house, you can look at that vlog, that video I have there. Security literally came out from the gates. <laughs> I was outside on the street, on the public street, and security literally came out to see what I was doing. That's Sunset Boulevard. These people parked on the streets. Somebody must be having a party. Yeah, this definitely must be a party. So why are all these people parked on the street? That's what you're going to see mostly. Fences, gates. Well, I think it was just last night I did a video, actually, of Sunset Boulevard. Further down, though, Brentwood into Pacific Palisades. This is Beverly Hills. Now we're at Sunset. Which I've done for you guys before. Sunset Boulevard. So maybe I should cut it there. Whoa, look how close I am. All right, guys, I'll cut it there. Ron here, if you like the channel, please subscribe. If you do subscribe, please hit the little bell icon next to the subscription button. Then you'll be notified when I post. And please subscribe. Oh, got to go. Please subscribe. Here we go. Let's go down Sunset for a minute. Can't sit there at the red light, at the green light. I guess I could have. Huh? Look at all the traffic coming the other direction on Sunset. Holy moly. Oh, now it's too dark. Okay. Got my driving glasses on. I said last night, and I still feel it, even in the nights like this where you can't, you don't necessarily, well, it's 57 degrees. Now, for Los Angeles, it's kind of cold. For me, it is anyway. Since everybody else is from somewhere else, when they move here, usually a colder climate doesn't affect them but me it's cold so we can't really smell the night blooming jasmine but the cool nights on sunset are nice too because there's so much greenery so much that you can smell the eucalyptus and, uh, i really love the greenery especially north sunset here or east sunset i guess towards more towards hollywood Sunset and Rexford. All right, guys. We'll see you at the next location. Remember, like I said before, subscribe and like. I'd really appreciate it. We'll see you next location. I got to drop. Bye. -bye.